What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Random Streaks. Let's go. We have a five streak right now. Nothing, nothing to be mad about there. Okay, we got Kane. That's fine, too. I'm not mad either. I'm not mad now. I'm not mad ever. Not my chin, not my problem. That's what I always says. That's what I always says. Um, all right, so we get the we get the luck up with Kane, right? He starts with a little bit of a better luck stat. Hey, I remembered about Missing HUD. What are you guys talking about? It's right there. Don't you see it? It's right there on the left, Missing HUD. What do you mean? Hold on. Let me pause it just so you guys could see. Yeah, see? Missing HUD's there. Missing HUD's there. I really don't like Kidney Stone, but I'm going to take it because uh, it's super early in the game. And I figure... I figure why not? You know, why not? I just hate that it, like, all of a sudden makes you stop shooting tears. I understand that's, like, the whole logistic of the item. Like, it's, you know, the kidney stone, meaning you, you know, stop. I don't want to get too graphic here, but... Basically, the passageway kind of closes up for some reason. Uh, that, that reason being a kidney stone, and then all of a sudden, it all comes out. I get it. I understand the logistics of the item. I, I just don't love it. I'm not a huge, huge fan. But like I said, it is the first floor. Let's try to get like a, a good start on the day. And uh, yeah, we actually already took a hit, which is not good. And there are some daunting enemies in this room to be completely real. Guess we could just do it one at a time here. And there it is. There's the kidney stone coming in action. This is a little dicey. It's a good thing that we have uh, all this real estate up here. Okay, I didn't think it would hit me, and it didn't. Another burning little Isaac guy. He is dead now. Okay, we have a kidney stone charge. That's awkward. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Okay, well, that's fine. Kind of lucked out there a little bit. But magician and a battery not the best i mean there was a tinted rock there i was hoping for a, a soul heart and we ended up not getting one some chests up there another soul heart if we could fly i would take advantage of that but we can't uh i do have two keys and i don't plan on going to the shop so let's just actually check out this double locked room because we can who knows what's in there hey it's a one die so i guess kidney stone is now gone because i'm gonna re-roll this run and it looks like we got, I think, what is that, toxic blood or something? I kind of forget what it is, but we do feel faster. We feel a little faster. It looks like we have some ta some sort of tail. We also have paperclip, which I think Kane might start with, so I might be getting it twisted with the, the re-roll there. Uh, we are fighting Littlehorn. By the way, I was watching the Afterbirth Plus uh, stream from PAX West yesterday, and I was excited because I saw a ton of new items, and I guess that those were like, he, Edmund tweeted out after that they were 80% of them were just modded items that were already in the game, which was a little disappointing, but I mean, it is a, it is a mod update. It's a dev update as they're labeling it, so... The fact that there's even any new items in Afterbirth Plus, I think we have to take away as a win. Um, they said it's not just a dev update, but the fact is, it is a dev update. And the fact is, if we get any items, I think we should be stoked about it. The thing is, people can mod in items uh, with the amount of tools they're giving the community. The tools from some screenshots that I've seen are very extensive basically you could code isaac all over again um so it, the thing is new items doesn't really even make sense anymore because people can code in items which is pretty awesome granted that you know you have to use mods but the mods are going to be integrated into the main game as if they were part of the main game um which is really cool and i cannot wait for uh afterbirth plus still regardless of the fact that you know, every time I see Afterbirth Plus content, um, be it at PAX, it, it just seems to be all reskins. Like, they had the Twitch wall. You could change the Isaac character, how he looked. All that stuff you kind of can do already. Um, you know, they changed the sprites on the bosses, which is all really cool. But, like, we're all not amazing pixel artists. So, of course, the mods that they put out, you know, look great. 
but um, I'm, there's a probably amazing pixel artists out there that once they get their hands on those tools, hopefully they will be able to spread them to the public and we'll all be able to use them. And uh, he also mentioned something that was a little bit controversial about like, you know, having paid mods. And I don't know. I have a. I think I have a a, a minority's uh, standpoint on that whole thing, but I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, I think it influences creators to create better content because you know if if no one's gonna buy it if it's not up to standard, you know. And I'm not talking about like you know fifteen twenty dollars. I'm talking about like one to five dollars, which I assume some of the mods would be. Um, I'm sure if somebody goes overboard and basically, you know, makes a whole new game out of the Isaac, uh, contents, then yeah, I could see a $20 price tag, but like, also I think they should do a pay what you want model because, um, a lot of the fonts that I use being a graphic designer are pay what you want models. Uh, you could pay $0 or you could pay a hundred dollars. And I really like that model. I don't think they're gonna use that, but it would be cool if they had an option for, you know, mod makers to set, you know, say like, um, if a if a, a creator of a mod wanted to do a pay what you want model, he could, um, other than just putting a flat price tag on it. Because the price is pretty relative to certain things, like especially with add-ons and DLC and all that. People have very different perspectives on that. And, for me personally, when a font has a pay what, pay what you want model, I kind of tend to probably give them more than what they probably would ask for anyway. Um, just as like a little tip, and I, I, I'm a bit biased because I am a designer and I know how, you know, it could be a struggle financially at times, but all that being said, I think the Isaac community is, you know, tight. I always like going to the, um, the Binding of Isaac Reddit it, it's just it just seems like a good community still just because it's not completely blown out but um I, th I, th I don't think there's much issue with paid mods plus I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of free mods anyway um, or you can make your own mods for free uh, but I don't know I I think these people are putting their time and effort into something and to not be compensated for it is kind of sad but like I understand you know why people don't want to pay for mods as well I get both sides of the, uh, of the coin trust me I do I believe I believe that everybody has a right you know to their own opinion when it comes to paid DLC or paid mods or all that stuff but I'm just giving you my side of the story but like I said I do understand and I understand both sides thank God I think he was about to do that spawn like two or three spider thing all right so we've been rolling We've been rolling. We get a devil deal, and it's not the best, but I am actually going to take both of them uh, because we can, and I'm pretty sure on the next floor we will walk away with one heart, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we are. We are going to walk away with one heart with Maul of the Void and Gimpy and deal with the devil precedent. We picked up Headless Baby in that item room. Um... I mean, it's it's going okay. You know, Maul of the Void is really good. I keep thinking we have kidney stone, but we don't. We've re-rolled that instantly, um, which is, again, good, because I've already stated my opinion on kidney stone. Oh, I thought he was shooting at his friend. Thought he was shooting at his friend, man. Ooh. All right, let's pop in here. It is uh, unknown, and it's sad onion. Sad onion is great, one of my favorite items, actually. I just love tears up. Honestly, I think I've always been stop saying honestly. Holy hell. I think I've always been more of a tears guy than a damage guy I know that sounds crazy, but I, the thing is tears you get DPS which is damage per second Which is basically the stat that matters right because you can have what? You can have like 30 damage if your tier rate is terrible, which believe me I know that sounds like I just made something up, but that can happen especially with something like monstros long it's like your damage stack can be insane. Even with Brimstone, if your tier 8 sucks, it's it's quite miserable. Like, I can't even deal with it. I'd rather have bad damage and better tiers. Uh, all right, Lemon Party. We already got our item room, which was Sad Onion. The shop, we have 7 cents. I'm down with just moving on. It's great that it's a Fallen fight. Fallen is amazing to fight uh, for a couple of reasons. One being, well... 
I guess the only reason being that he gets deal with the devil items when he dies, which is awesome. Okay, should have been using Maul of the Void more often. Guppy's Hairball, perfect. Into it, love it. Love it. All right, let's just peace out. There's no real reason to stay. I mean, we can explore for like a curse room or something now that we have Guppy's uh, Hairball, but we have a 67% chance to get a deal with the devil here. I believe in the odds. They uh, will forever be in my favor. That's not the saying. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Got a couple boners in here. I can't wait till uh, someone makes a mod with no flooded caves. Like just the OG Isaac, just no flooded caves. Cause I'm in, I'm in. And I know there's probably mods already that have that. Um, I've never been a huge component or a fan of uh, the modding of Isaac. I think it's a, a great site and I think it's laid out really well and it's really simple to install and stuff. But here's the thing, it overwrites your save file. Uh, you, you know, um, I'm not, I, don't, I don't really like that. The only thing I did like was the pulling of Isaac and we turned it into the wheeling of Isaac on YouTube, which I did think was fun for the time being. But at the end of the day, mods are never my favorite. I'll tell you what is though, I do like a good reskin. I do like a good reskin, um, but like subtle. I know you're gonna say, uh, <laughs> I keep playing devil's advocate. I keep playing the commenters. Why am I doing this? But no, but I know you're gonna be like, oh, there's, you know, um, what the freak is that game's name? It's not Unturned. I know it's not Unturned. It's that other game that has nothing to do with Unturned, but the name of the game is kind of like it. It's like a, oh my, people love this game. I know I've given no clues to what it is, but there's a res There's also a Mario reskin um, for Isaac, and I've seen it. It looks cool, but like that stuff is not really what interests me. I like the subtle reskins that just kind of add a little something to the uh, base Isaac game because I love the aesthetic and the look of this game. Um, I just don't love when it's turned on its head, but there's nothing wrong with a reskin or an update to some of the stages or levels or even some of the characters. Subtle improvements, I think, is where uh, where I love mods the most. Dude, what is the name of that game? It's like un-something. It's not unturned. It's un-like... It has like that really, really good soundtrack. I love Holy Light, man. I love Holy Light. Oh my gosh. I'll never, I'll never think of the game. It has like a cult following. I've never played it, so I can't even explain like how the gameplay is. I've seen like, you know, images of it. It's a very, you know, off the wall art and stuff. I believe it's pixel art. I believe it's also a uh, independent game. I don't know, man. I'm gonna stop thinking about it because it's actually driving me insane. Let's go on to the boss. It is Gertie. Uh, I am not gonna use my strength card. Whoa. This looks like the guy that just spawns people. Maul the Void coming in the clutch. Holy shot coming in the clutch. Uh, the odds are not in our favor. We get a syringe though. Um, it's a little sad to be completely real. Did we get that coin? It sounded like we got it, but the coin didn't bounce up or anything or disappear. The dank depths, dog. Bam. We need to get our luck stat up to get that holy light going. Get that holy light going. Real nice. Uh, okay. Hello? What? Am I not hitting them? Or is my damage just not doing anything? Moving on. That's gonna hit me. Nope, it's close. My, that was close. Okay, I'm a little too lazy to shoot all those fires. Granted, I'd probably walk away with a couple more cents than I already have. Is it worth it? Maybe. Nice. That guy dipped down when I was uh, about to dip right into him. Whoa, whoa. This freaking room. That was a little difficult. Not gonna lie. Um, Nothing really to see here. Ding, ding. I was waiting for the holy light shot. I knew I didn't have penetrative shots, but if you wait long enough, good things happen. That's what that's what uh 
John F. Kennedy once said. We are we are tearing through these rooms. Got to use Maul the Void more honestly, but Oh no. Too fast. Okay, this is the mom fight. So we got to get our uh item room before we enter the boss fight if we want our item room that is, and I ki I kind of do. I kind of do. Are they going to run over those spikes? Then no. Enemies don't run over spikes, or they don't get hurt by spikes. Not sure exactly which one it is! That guy was so close. So close. Gluttony. Good old gluttony. But yeah, I also heard rumors about, like, you know, the seven deadly sins in the game. Like, how there's a, you know, uh, the greed mode. Um, something like a, a, a gluttonous mode, or a gluttony mode, where, you know, it it's not Isaac. In its true form, it's Isaac, but like how it's played and the mechanics of the game are, you know, not Isaac. Um, so I really am excited for something like that, where the game modes are like, you know, different. Different than a normal run, different than the, the progression of uh, everyday Isaac. And it kind of like, I don't play greed mode anymore. I'm going to be straight up honest. I don't. I, I don't really see um, a need to play greed mode because I've beaten everything on it, but... That's not to say my time with greed mode wasn't enjoyable. I did enjoy it, and I like that, you know, it took the formula of Isaac and kind of turned it on it turned it on its head a little bit. But keeping the true integrity of the mechanics of the game, just just switching up the um the what you call it the what you call it. You know what I, you know what I'm saying. The formula, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I mean, sure. It, Spectral Tears is not like amazing, but it's definitely good if you don't have it. It's good if you don't have it. Also, if you don't have the tier height to get over rocks, which I do not. I can't see like the hand shadows. Oh, we didn't kill him. We didn't kill her, I should say. The wall climbers. Spectral Tears? No. Doesn't go through the mass. I didn't think so. I was just double checking. Um, okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Gonna fight mom. I might pop the strength card, honestly. This isn't mom! What am I on? Dank Depths 1. I thought it was Dank Depths 2. It's alright. It's no big deal. I wanted to get my item room anyway. I don't think I'm at that point where I could fly past item rooms and feel completely confident about it. Uh, I think I'm in a good position. I don't think I'm in a great position one of those runs what we talk about all the time where we hit the womb and we're like holy shit we're actually not that good and yes guys I, I am I thought I thought it came off as I was joking uh, but I know the new guidelines of YouTube I know it doesn't mean you can't curse I was I was just over exaggerating uh, a little tongue-in-cheek poking fun at YouTube's guidelines uh, okay little geesh little geesh I kind of want to use the strength card here to be completely real Oh my god, I just like watched that happen. Alright. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. Blank rune or a strength card. Uh yeah, I'll take the blank rune, because who knows, maybe it's per throw. I'm sorry, not per throw, but Yera. Maybe it's Yera, and we take it down to the chest and pop it, just in case. You never know, unless we come across like a better, a better thing to hold on to, like uh, like a Yara rune for sure. Yara rune. I have no time for it. I have no time for it. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. If there was a curse room around, I would use it, but. Doesn't seem like there's a curse room in the near vicinity. There is a bomb, but we have 21 of them. I just watched that happen. Here's where I wish I had Krampus' head. It's all right. One black heart basically cleared the whole room. That's worth it in my eyes. I really appreciate the, the people that's, that watch this series. I don't want to say still, because that seems like a little derogatory. I don't know why, but like that's the, the, the still support the series, we should say. But yeah, like... I understand that Isaac's over the hump of uh, 
you know, the peak of the popularity of the game. And I, I know people have played Isaac into the ground, and I've also done over, well over 50 episodes of Isaac. Um, so I understand it wears on people, but the people that still watch and stick around, and also I know there's some people that have just picked up Isaac and just started playing it, and then their interest in watching it goes up. So that always happens too, but we did hit it, but we got hit in the process because I was paying too much attention on throwing that bomb in there. Should clear the room first. That's a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Um, But yeah, no, I understand that there are people that are just picking up Isaac or, you know, just getting into these videos, but we've been going for a long time here and... uh well, a long time for my YouTube channel, I should say. I know there's people out there with a little more than 50 episodes. Um, but yeah, just just know that I, I really do appreciate um, the people that watch and continue to support and continue to hit like on the videos. Uh, it's, it's the reason we could still keep going, you know? And the people over at Twitch that are subscribed and, you know, all that is the reason we could keep going. So for that, I thank you. Oh, that is badass. That is badass. So is Rotten Baby. So is Rotten freaking Baby, man. I would love to get a battery. Is there a battery in here? There is. Easy. Easy. Let's wait for it. Wait for, like, more eyes to come down. <laughs> oh, my. Um... Okay, I'm gonna take it. I don't love Fear Shot, but it is a damage up. And I actually was gonna go down instead of up, and I took the Polaroid. Like, all those thoughts crossed my mind the second it happened. So I apologize. Uh, I promise I will go to Shoal sooner or later. I do really enjoy the chest. Uh, I don't think Shoal has much to offer in terms of interest, but I do understand that the constant, you know, chest cathedral is a little much. Uh, so yes, I will, I will for sure go to Shoal one of these days. Once I remember to grab the negative instead of the Polaroid, you have to understand, I've been grabbing the Polaroid for, uh, I don't even know how many consecutive Isaac runs, uh, ever since I, you know, didn't have to go to Shoal, I've been grabbing the Polaroid. So it's a little forced habit. Um, I mean, I could open that chest, I just don't really want to fight that room. Gotta love Holy Shot. And Rotten Baby putting in work. The noises in the womb. I'd be completely down with a mod that, you know, got rid of this. I love red. Red's my favorite color. But the... Dude, the Scarred Womb is so much better. Uh, visually, it's just so much better than the womb. I think... The red on red, like, the, I understand why it's red on red, <laughs> but, like, I just think for my eyes, it's just, it's too much, too much red. You get lost in it, too, because it's like the rocks are red, everything's just red, the walls are red. That's why I think the Scarred Womb is really, really good, visually. There it is. Love that the Holy Shot, oh, God, I hate it. I love that the Holy Shot, um... It's like an AoE almost. It's like it doesn't get the directed area that it hits. It actually hits around itself as well. Which is cool. This random run's going good. I mean, I don't think we're completely OP at this point, but we're at a spot where I'm not too worried about dying. Uh, Joker? No, two of hearts. Okay, landed that holy shot. That's what matters. I gotta use Maul of the Void more, I know. I know I said it already. I mean, that was a good time to use it. Two skeleton hands, and we actually didn't get hit. I've never heard those that voiceover. Qu 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 question marks. Never heard that voiceover. That was interesting. All right. Moving on, it looks like we got a big room here. I shouldn't be killing those those turrets. One, because they uh, get they explode with tears, and two, because they die anyway if I clear the room. 
They're all gonna die in, a, in an instant after I kill this little wiggle waggle back there. So it's really kind of silly to uh, to kill them individually. Wow, that is that is really good. Okay, it's not gonna be Krampus. All right, there's another Guppy item, which is awesome. Um, I think I'm just gonna take the Guppy paw and uh, take Krampus's head and be Audi. I, I don't really care about the the nail. I understand I probably can get some black hearts from it, but it's all right. We still have the blank rune. We do. Okay. Curse of the Lost, not great on the womb, not great at all. Okay, and the charges are actually valuable. Our Krampus' head with the uh, battery, the car battery, it's really good, it's really powerful. Okay, just gotta get through. I ran right into that, that was such a rookie maneuver. I'm taking these pills because they can't be a health down. Um, so I'm kind of going for a health up if we can get it, but range up's not bad. That was really good, especially because we got a battery to boot. Really hope I find the boss soon. It's not looking good. Definitely not this way. We're going to have to backtrack a little bit. That's not good. Thank God for holy shot. I almost uh, ran up to get that bomb while Maul the Void was still going on, which would have made the TNT explode and hurt me. So, dodged a bullet there. Okay, I usually get hit on those rooms. Usually get hit. It's a good thing we didn't, because I mean, we're we're only at four and a half hearts. I mean, it's nothing, nothing too great. Nothing to write home about. That's for sure. Another key. These stupid pop-up idiots. Pop-up idiots. Nice. That's when Fear Shot's good. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. Why the frick? Why? Okay, made it work. Okay, just please pop your head up. Okay, good. Good, we are done. Okay, so that one didn't split into two, but it actually did. Um, well, it, I'm sorry, it actually did do two beams. They were just lined up right next to each other because none of them spin, but it was double the damage for Krampus's head. That's why we melted mom with it. Okay, yeah, definitely at the point where we got to use Maul the Void a little bit more. Unfortunately, I mean, I don't want to be at that point, but we just kind of haven't gotten any Devil Deals that have pushed our uh, damage. You know, no Pack, no Mark, no uh, no Abaddon, no... None of those. We did get Rotten Baby, but it actually wasn't even out of a Devil Deal. It was in an item room. Which ups our DPS, but not our damage, per se. Oh no, bad move. Bad move. So much money and bombs. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know how I didn't get hit by that one scythe. I thought I'd just like completely handcuff myself. Please be a tender uh, soul heart. No! I feel like I have no luck with Tinted Rocks this run. No soul hearts. Thank God he's feared. Thank God he's feared. We do have our Krampus' head in case we get into a sticky situation. Thank God for Fear Shot because it, it just pushed those guys to the wall who easily could have cut me off. Thank God for the Black Heart. Thank God it's Friday, you know? You know, let's just keep it. Let's just. Keep thanking the man above, I guess, at this point. It's actually not Friday. It's Saturday. And tomorrow is my fantasy football draft, baby. The thing everybody watching this video cares about. Guarantee you guys care about it. Uh, yeah, that wasn't great. It wasn't great, but 
Maybe it helped this room along. I'm just excited for football season, though, for real. There is nothing better. Like, say what you will about sports. I know not everybody is a sports fan, especially everybody that, you know, is into video games. There's not much crossover there is what I'm getting at. But, but, you have to appreciate the social aspect of on Sunday, you get together with family, friends, you could sit down, eat some chicken wings, and watch football all day. I know that sounds super American of me, but hey, that's just how it is, you know? Um, mm, I think it's those bombs, right? I don't know. I think I already picked it up, to be real. All right, into a second phase, just like that. Thank God we have Krampus' head and car battery. Like, uh, our damage, uh, tier-wise, is bad. I wouldn't even go as far as saying it's not good. I'm actually going to straight up just say it's bad. It's completely caught up with us. Like, we were rolling in the beginning. The holy shot is saving us, I think. But the fact that he's, like, you know, popping out of this first animation, that's when you know your, your damage is not great. See? He's, like, floating around. Never good. Never good. There's a lot of components that are making this run work. Don't I don't want you to I I think I that comes off as um me not thinking it's a good run. I do think it's a good run strictly because of, you know, the items that make up the run, but tier-wise, strictly like just those tiers, not counting Rotten Baby or Maul of the Void, it's not great. It's actually bad. Um Okay, is that Ludovico technique or technology? Okay, I'm fine with controlled tiers just because I, like, never have it, like, ever. Uh, I know I'm not going to be able to really use Maul of the Void with uh, controlled tiers, which is actually a huge detriment to our run, as I was just talking about. But the Holy Light flashing is actually really cool. Uh, I took Ludo, Ludo Vicho Technique just because of the sheer uh, uniqueness of it and the fact that we don't usually have it. I didn't take it because I thought it was a great... Uh, item and a good you know business move per se and i also know that i didn't use the blank rune on the chest and i do apologize about that because i held on to it for all freaking run but who knows maybe it's a per throw and maybe i did the good the good deed it is a per throw let's go let's go see i knew i knew i was on to something <gasps> i was really close really close to hitting me man Really close to hitting me, man. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Just like that. We do have Krampus' head. I'm actually going to use it because F double double adversary. Hate him. Hate him to, hate him to bits. Just leave this on here and uh, hang out. It looks so cool with holy light. Like the tear just like it looks like it almost gets struck by lightning or something. It's the pulse of energy going through it. And we're just cheesing this room because we can. There's really not much reason to be up in the action if we don't have to be. That's why Ludovico technique is great. Wish I had Krampus' head for this room. Oh, I don't know. He didn't hit me. I'm not exactly sure how or why he didn't hit me, but he didn't. I think he might have stopped like right in front of me and didn't complete his charge. That was bizarre. That was bizarre. There's something super satisfying about hovering a tear over these guys and just taking out all stages of them, though. Uh, don't want to. Don't want to waste that. Granted, it, it looks great that I could use it right here in this room, but um, I want it. I want to get a full charge out of it. I would have just been getting a one room charge out of it if I took it there. This is a bit confusing. Okay. We good? We're good. All right. That's pure laziness right there. That is pure laziness. In before we get like a four cage room. Mm -hmm. 
I'll go get the battery. Hopefully we're going the right way. It feels like we are. To be honest, it felt like we were before, and then we got a double room just like this, and it was a dead end with the uh, Lokis in it. But this one is not a dead end, so it still feels good. Still feels good, man. Okay. And uh, it is the right way, indeed. That was a bit weird. All right. Let's do it. I couldn't move my tear with that shooting. That was interesting. I guess that's normal, though. You can't shoot when you're shooting Krampus' head. Makes sense. Uh, I tried to get in there and bomb him. Now that we're invincible, though, we're fine. We fine. That's another win. That is win number six. We are climbing the ranks. We are climbing the ranks of the random streak. That is number six. Hope you guys tune in next time to see if we can make it a lucky number seven. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It does help me out. Until next time, stay safe, stay up, and peace out.